And we're back once again, this time with Risk Solver Platform. Now we talked about Risk Solver a little earlier, and we mentioned that this was a tool that came with Excel. So the, as we can see, we already have our, we did some analysis here, but we'll validate these together. We have, as with the others, we want to create 10 distributions named individually so we can pick them up in the sensitivity analysis and the other type of reporting. And we want to count how many steps it takes to do that. So the first is to how to create an input distribution. So step one, two, so we have two, and then we need to assign a name test one and then we want to there we go and we've defined so we have the the name and that's so a four steps. So we're at six. We'll save it. So we've created that. And we need to add, and it automatically adds it as an input. And then, of course, if we want to copy, on the other hand, we're going to have to remove all the absolute references. So that's one, two, three, four, and we copy it. That's five. Okay, five it is. And then we need to color code these. So color coding is two. How do we do that? Well, it's very simple. We use the old Excel method. And we make it green. Now, as for the outputs, do the additive model thing. And look at that. That's very, that's kind of nifty. It'll pop up. Over here, we need to once again define the results. So that's one, two, three. And we, of course, have to color code that as well. So we'll throw that into the three. And where is that? OK. So three. We're all set. Let's run it. And we've already run our thousand simulation. So let's just make sure that our model, we're running a thousand. OK, and one simulation. We'll run it again. It's so fast, we don't know it happened. And we have here the model output viewer. So let's look at the answers. And the first thing that we have is we have the simulation results. However, we can't see that it's called total anywhere. On the other hand, we have all our descriptive statistics, a lot of a lot of interesting math, value at risk, conditional value at risk, mean confidence, a lot of detailed stuff here. However, our sensitivity analysis, even with rank correlation, seems to be a little off. So let's see if we can't fix that. So we'll close this. Sure, we'll save it. So the PSI name isn't working. So let's try. Let's try something else. Let's uh, put an absolute reference on this one and see if it. 
and how about this guy over here we'll put an absolute put it back to the way it was let's run and let's see what our sensitivity analysis well it's not telling us much just C okay everything else being the same let's try one last attempt so this would be test one and here test two And of course, if we copy it all the way down, we won't be able to see. And test one, test two. It appears that in order to use this PSI name function, we need to manually edit each cell. That's an unfortunate thing given all the power that we have on all the other aspects of the risk solver platform the nice graphics the the uh, we haven't spoken about the optimization but uh, for this task alone that's a very simple task of building this additive model um, risk solver seems to be the least friendly uh, because of this PSI name function if they could fix this uh, we'd be cooking with gas on on all other accounts it's a very pleasant package and extremely powerful package with a lot of good in interesting math uh, behind it so we're gonna wrap this up we're gonna compare all of these in um, the next part so um, thank you very much